topic we are looking at today is who does the finding I've had some ladies get really upset you know they express their unhappiness for the fact that it has to be the men that do the finding and that's why we are going to look at this sensitive topic which is going to be of great help I believe because sometimes when your thought is not clear about any subject any issue anything that has to do with your life or dealing with others it becomes confusing so you can't really have the clear picture of what you want to do or what you want to have so that's why we are going to take a look at this today believing that it's going to help to make it better make your mind able to capture what should be and what should not be now like you know there's no particular subject no particular topic no particular thing that on its own is able to solve the problems of life it's always combinations of things that need to be done and when you put them together in their right places their right proportion you get the result that will give you what you desire or what you deserve I want us to look at this subject of love at first sight is there anything like that love at first sight seem to be where many people start off in their relationship they tend to begin from that point but as we go on I'm sure we are going to be clear about this is their love at first sight that could happen for several reasons it could be as a result of first impression that the person makes on you now if you depend on love at first sight then you are likely going to love too many people because there are many times that many people make striking impression on you just the sight of them some it is when you begin to interact with them you discover there's something beautiful something lovely something attractive some people's charisma doesn't just strike you immediately some people's charisma strikes you after you have one or two things to do with them or you encounter them personally or you have heard them speak or you've watched them do some art there are some people you can't really appreciate them you don't appreciate the charisma they carry the energy they carry until they begin to flow in their own vein they are in their element and then that impression gets through to you so if we are going to depend on love at first sight then there might be a problem and one of the problems is that you are going to love somebody you don't know or you are going to get to love too many people now this doesn't only happen with men it happened with both men and women so first impression wouldn't be what will determine whether you should claim to love the person or not or whether you love the person or not there might be a comment that is made about someone and by the way you know one of the things that made me settle for my wife is that I had very close friends who made comments about her about how she lives her life and I tell you that is still working today she has only improved I am only getting to discover more things they never observed about her because those comments were not engineered they just said what they were observing and because these are people who had known for years I had to consider what they were saying and it helped me to know that I was on the right path it strengthened my belief that that was the person to go for so 
whatever it is, now I know that there is nothing like love at first sight. That's my personal discovery. It is really difficult to love the person that you do not know. It takes time to get to know someone. And that is why I considered I took seriously what my friends said about my wife now. You know, then we didn't even start the relationship, but they made such great comments about her, and um, that agreed with me. It resonated with what I was feeling for her. How does it get started? Like I said, for some people, it's just that initial love at first sight. Some people actually start from the feeling of infatuation. This happens a lot for men. Nowadays, these things are changing. Women are also giving into a lot of infatuation, lust, sexual attraction, or physical attraction. It used to be men that used to have that permission, more or less, permission from the society to follow their feelings and maybe go all out. Nowadays, many of these things are changing. Women are also stepping up in that sense to say, okay, it's not only men that should have the freedom, we also can. So many people are now giving in to this, especially the younger generation, the younger generation whose minds have been conditioned more by the movie world, by the Hollywood and all the woods. So infatuation, lust, sexual attraction or physical attraction. Some people might have been grouped together to do a thing of common interest. For example, in a club, classroom situation, or they just meet in a place of worship. It could be temple and if there are those who have that as a major priority, they have to be meeting it could be during choir practice, you know, being together in the same place, could be for sports, etc. You know, things of interest. Trustingly, some people started their relationship from the point of disagreement. And in the process, their disagreements make them listen to each other much more. So it goes beyond just disagreeing to win but it gets to the point of getting to discover the other person's level of reasoning uh, ability to get his or her mind across to be able to say what is inside and the freedom to express himself or herself so in that process they find each other very interesting so they keep relating with each other and it could be after the, the first physical disagreement. And of course, mobile phone enhances the ability to stay connected because it's just one phone call away. So they could be ringing and chatting. Now it goes beyond just what they disagreed about. Many would have forgotten what they talked about. So lots of relationships start when one or both people found themselves attracted to each other some met while on a long journey and that created an opportunity for them to interact with each other chatting while on the trip the list could go on and on and on and on as you know uh, it appears that most people are attracted to their partner mostly for their own weaknesses and not for their strengths so I am likely to be attracted to the person who has what I need, what I feel I need, but I don't have. We are hardly attracted to the people who have our own kind of strength, except it's a decision to build a mastermind. Outside of that, you are likely going to synergize so you get the strength from the other person to combine with yours and have something else that never existed. So it's a kind of 
natural desire to bring in the strength that I need, which I have as a witness. We see that happen often. We naturally look out and get easily attracted to people we believe have what we lack. That happens subconsciously and we hardly consider what we are doing. Even the most spiritual gets attracted to whom he or she feels will enhance his or her life. Have not changed the day. They have only improved. They have only been better than they observed before we got married. Why should the man do the finding? It is very important for the man to take that step because his interests in having a long-term relationship is crucial for marital success. The number two reason why a man should do the finding, the commitment to the marital relationship entails giving up other choices of relationship, other possible contending choices while walking towards marriage. It has been observed that giving up some other relationship to stay committed to only one person of the opposite sex is a common problem with men more than it is with women. Yeah, a few women here and there, the exceptions to this rule, but mostly it is a man's problem. Men hardly walk into a new relationship or relationship of their commitment and give up other relationships that they were enjoying. But women can make that decision, especially when they know that this man is whom they want, they could now forgo others. Now, there are exceptional cases, like I said. The subject of a long-term view in relationship is more of a man's big challenge than of the woman. However, in some of the Western culture, here in the UK and the US, what many are out to encourage through online dating and some other things, some people, both men and women, tend to believe that even in relationship they could hang on to everyone and remain open to all possible choices and that is delicate because when you're talking about relationship you're talking about something that is going to take your time commitment so you need to be sure of what you are doing if you are just into casual relationship then be clear about it and let your partner your friend be also aware of it you're not into anything serious but if you are talking about a relationship that will last that will end up in marriage then it has to also be clear on your mind that it will take your devotion, it will take your commitment, your time, your effort. You need to focus. Man's clear decision to be committed should be seen by the efforts that he puts into the process of finding the right person to marry. That for me is something that you need to get. It's something that gets really demanding often. So it's a good sign when a man indicates that it's you i want and he gives you all that it takes it's like a good prayer time give it all that you have and that's how it should be gives you all that it takes that is a good sign i want to quickly run through the attraction and how it develops attraction between a man and a woman could develop because a partner has what the other partner wants to have in his life. We've talked about that before. And number two, there are similarities in the areas of interest. Those could be what enhances the development of attraction. Discovery of a person that both enjoys communicating with you. The conversation flows sincerely, intelligently, and that leaves a strong impression on one or both partners. So they get to encourage it. Or one person begins encouraging it and it develops desire for sexual satisfaction and fulfillment that desire is something that many do not know the power that is in it especially our young